everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I am testing out brand new IQ feed support has told me about a third party software. I've been trying this for years called Motion Wave. I'll create a separate video for this piece of software. It looks really good. But for now, I just want to show you we can now connect into IQ feed on Mac OS with uh, this piece of software called Microwave. Um, as I said, I'll do a separate video on that. I just want to show you the API stuff that you can do with IQFeed. So with this now, you have the ability to retrieve data in a very affordable way and execute the data with IQFeed. So let me show you some of the example uh, applications you can get. You can get more information on this software and all this stuff on my IQFeed uh, playlist on my YouTube channel. So what I'm going to do is I want to first show you the ability to set up a um, a ability to let me see if I can get it. <clears throat> this is the streaming here. While it is coming to end the market in the next ten minutes, I have the ability to enter in IBM and do a watch on all the tick data as it comes in. You can clearly see that that is one application that we have. This application we're looking at is the NetBeans IDE for Java to connect into uh, IQ Feed on. Mac, this is the only way to do it. There is no other way outside of, well, just Java. That's all you have. So let me show you the option. They, uh, this this thing's very powerful in itself. Let me just see if I can run this as is. Um, this was running. So again, you have access to the source code once you get um, the license for the developer's edition on IQFeed, which is a couple hundred bucks for the year. In my, in my view, it's fairly cheap, and it's a very powerful way to really do low-level, um, just wait for the application to load up. Let me see what we have. Okay, so here's the, I, I'm just going to continue using IBM. So we have the ability to access any of the uh, data you want. So I've just entered in IBM. I'm not an exact options guy right now. But I imagine you have the calls puts right here, the contract of the raw data on that options chain. Very powerful. Um, and this this is something brand new, uh, a new world to uh, get involved with. Um, also, through IQ Feed, you have the ability to access futures data uh, or options data uh, for commodities or Forex. Just depends upon your subscription service you have access to and what you're willing to pay for. So just go over to iqfeed.net to see what's available. So that is very powerful in itself. Um, so as I said, I've shown you the system lookout. I've shown you the um, streamer. This is, is pretty powerful, uh, as I said before. We also have the ability to uh, run news as well. Let me just try to see if I can pull that up as well. Um, again, if you want to see this in action, just go through all the videos I have available for IQ Feed. You can do the same thing, obviously, on Windows, but being able to do this now on Mac, and it's probably been like this for a while, but now that I, I have the ability to see this, um, let me see if I can get... Uh, okay, so here's some of the news data that came in. Asia market, Canadian stocks. Um, let me see if, if I can get the text format. Um, headline by symbol. So let's say if I want to put in, I don't know, IBM. There's no... Oh, Let's see, how do I do this? So uh, headline, submit request. Um, anyways, you can still get access to, obviously, through the data and be able to get all kinds of new sources uh, right into your software. That's That's pretty powerful in itself. They do have level two, but I'm not. I don't have access to level two because I'm not paying for it. Um, the history socket. I don't know. Let me see if I can pull that up. This 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 is a game changer, okay? And if you have not, I, as I said, we're using this Motion Wave software to connect into into uh, IQ Feed on a Mac, and that that's why I'm able to do this. So let's see, uh, tick data, I'm going to put in IBM again. Uh, let's just get the data. Um, let's see here. In the meantime, let's see if I can go through any of the live uh, data. This one I don't know. Benchmark tool, I don't know what that does. 
Uh, okay, so there's some exceptions, but just just getting the streamer news the option chain is a very powerful one. Um, system info, I don't really care. Symbol lookup socket. Let me just try that. Um, and while we still have some market data to play with until close. Okay. Let me see if we can run that. My just so you know, my my computer is getting overloaded here. It's only got I think four meg on it. So here's the historical. So it's still receiving the data. I don't know what that means. Uh, but filter data. Oh, here we go. So here's some data. I don't know how frequent this is. Looks like it's tick data for today. And you know you can get some very quite a bit of. Um, Bit of, bit of data here on tick level as well. So that's pretty 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 powerful if you could just in your Java be able to uh, then store that or then push that back into your in your database. In my case, as you know, I do Redis. So that's pretty powerful. So let me see. Um, so this is a symbol lookup. I only have access to stock and Forex for now. Um, Okay, I'm, I'm not going to bother with that. Um, news, lookup, and then again, if you pay for the level two, that's going to be pretty powerful in itself. So this is very exciting indeed to be able to see this. Um, this, as I said, this is this is a huge game changer now to have the ability to do access IQ feed with Java and then be able to do the same thing. But um, if you're starting out with uh, interactive brokers with no data, that's fine, you can still open an account, but because you have the ability now to access the IQ feed data on a Mac, in my case, and then push data through uh, interactive brokers is in itself very exciting. Hopefully that'll help you out. Talk to you later.